What's up, my comic comrade? With the Black Adam film finally about to hit theaters, it's also time for us to spotlight the DC characters appearing in the film, starting with the Atom Smasher. He's a colossal character who is finally getting some well-deserved big screen time, and he looks awesome in the trailers. We have previously seen him in the CW Arrowverse, specifically The Flash, but let's be honest, being introduced into the DCEU is a massive upgrade. So let's jump into the comics and see who this character is and where he came from, before we see how they translate his story in the movie. The man who would bear the title Atom Smasher is Albert Julian Rothstein. He first appeared under the alias Nuclon in All-Star Squadron issue 25 in September of 1983. He would later appear as Atom Smasher in Kingdom Come issue 2 in June of 96. He was created by Roy Thomas, Jerry Ordway, and Mike McClan. With that said, let's talk about Atom Smasher's origin, but before we talk about how he became Atom Smasher, we have to talk about his first persona, Nuclon. His whole origin and backstory is broken down to us perfectly in Who's Who the Definitive Directory of the DC Universe, volume 17, on page 9. So since DC took it upon themselves to summarize his history, I'm essentially just going to tell you verbatim what they printed on his data sheet because who's going to know better than DC themselves? Anyway, Albert Rothstein, alias Nuclon, is the grandson of atomic research scientist Dr. Terry Curtis. Born Terrence Kurtzberger, an accident involving one of Curtis's experiments killed Curtis's wife and fatally irradiated his daughter Terry. The criminal ultra humanite offered to save both Curtis's on the condition that Dr. Curtis would work for him. Seeing no alternative, Dr. Curtis was forced to agree to these terms. The ultra humanite used this technology to stabilize the infant Terry's condition and to transform Dr. Curtis into the super human being Cyclotron. As Cyclotron, Curtis fought the All-Star Squadron, but he finally heroically sacrificed his life in an attempt to destroy the Ultra Humanite. The second firebrand, who was actually Danette Riley, Dr. Curtis's former fiance, and the original Adam, Al Pratt, took it upon themselves to raise Infant Terry. She was finally cured of radiation poisoning, and after reaching adulthood, married Philip Rothstein. They had a son, Albert. When Albert was quite young, Philip, a military helicopter pilot, was killed in action. Terry worked as a scientist at Cape Canaveral, Florida. We also learned the radiation which Terry had been exposed to as a baby affected her genes, causing causing Albert to be born with mutant superhuman strength, which his godfather, the original Adam, trained him to use. Calling himself Nuclon, Albert joined other children and godchildren of members of the JSA and asking to be admitted to their organization. Unfortunately, he was turned down with the other young heroes, so they formed their own group, Infinity Inc. Nuclon's powers would soon go beyond superhuman strength once he was exposed to thorium radiation, which gave him power over his molecular structure. And just like that, you have the origin of Albert Rothstein and how he became Nuclon. But that's just the first half of his origin, because after this, we know he would eventually take on a new hero identity, which of course is the reason why we're here today. Atom Smasher. As for how Albert would eventually take on the Atom Smasher moniker, well, that all goes down in Files and Origins Issue 1. In the issue, we see Albert sitting in his apartment in Manhattan on the west side of 110th Street. As he narrates saying, funny the things that seem important. When I was young, being different, unique, Big Al Rothstein, my own man. You look back a year, two, five, it seemed so lame. A mohawk for God's sake. Nuclon, why did I think that was a cool name? And that dumb costume. No, actually the first costume wasn't so bad, as he looks at old pictures of himself and his his dad, the first Adam. He continues to say, but why didn't I see? The heritage, what came before, not just my godfather, Al Pratt, the Adam. All of them, the JSA, the All-Star Squadron. Some of them, Al for one, weren't even as old as Infinity Inc. when they donned their masks for the first time. And there wasn't a manual for what was expected of them either. They wrote the book. Some died then, others died later. And all I wanted was to be different, distant from their memory. We then see him putting on what we know now as the Adam Smasher costume, as he continues narrating, saying, what a fool I was. Should have done this a long time ago. Ago. Honor Al Pratt. Honor the memory of my grandfather, Terry Curtis. Cyclotron, whose atomic physiology I inherited. Goodbye, Nuclon. Hello, Atom Smasher. And just like that, he becomes Atom Smasher for the first time, donning his new costume with the name itself being a nod to both Cyclotron and Adam. Okay, so we've been friends for a long time, and you guys know quite a bit about me at this point. But did you know that recently I've officially been proclaimed a lord? That's right, I'm a rare Puerto Rican Scottish lord. If you are a Scottish lord, then I am Mickey Mouse. Make fun of it if you want. But for reals, I'm a Scottish Lord and I have receipts to back up my claim. This official certificate from today's sponsor, Established Titles, with a fancy crest, settles it in stone. Well, maybe just in paper, so you may call me Lord Eris of the Northern Scotty Regans. Seriously though, there's a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as Lairds or Lords and Ladies in English. And these title packs give you at least one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate in Edelston, Scotland. So you could officially change your name to Lord or Lady and get it on your credit cards, plane tickets, bro, maybe even a dating app profile. Don't know if that would work, but 
it's worth a shot. Anyway, your certificate from established titles features a unique plot number with which you can see the exact location of your land. But it's also a fun and novel way to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland because they plant a tree with every order and work with global charities like One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future to support global reforestation efforts. The first 200 people purchasing a title pack using our link will effectively be next to our plot within a few minutes walking distance. This makes an amazing last minute gift and they even have couples packs that comes with adjoining plots of land. Established Titles is also running a massive sale right now, plus if you use the code variant, you get an additional 10% off. Just go to establishedtitles.com forward slash variant to get your gifts now. Not to mention, it helps support the channel. Again, that's establishedtitles.com forward slash variant. Almost immediately after becoming Adam Smasher, Albert would finally achieve his childhood dream of joining the JSA, as seen in 1999's JSA by Jeff Johns. Adam Smasher was there from issue one, which is why he's part of the JSA in the Black Adam movie. As for Adam Smasher and his relationship with the Black Adam, well, Black Adam would ask to join the team on the first two pages of JSA issue 21. He literally confronts Sandman and says, I want to join the JSA. But Sandman basically replies, we can't. The bottom line is, we don't trust you. I don't trust you. If we need power, we'll call Captain Marvel. Sandman then walks away saying, we need to table this. I've got other fires to put out, while Black Adam says, he'll be back. Then once issue 23 of the title rolls around, we see several members of the JSA, such as Sandman, Mr. Terrific, Dr. Fate, Jay Garrick's Flash, and Adam Smasher discussing what their next move should be to retrieve their kidnapped friend Hawkgirl, who has been taken to the planet Thanagar. Sandman says that's where they're gonna go to get her back, but they're a little short-handed, with Sentinel still recuperating. He goes on to tell the team, and as you already know, Midnight's staying behind. Wildcat and Canary are off in Europe, taking down the council, and Adam Smasher says, and Courtney's still getting adjusted to Metropolis. Not to mention her mom went into labor this morning, so she's sitting this one out too. I've been to Thanagar, back when I was with the JLA. It's a rough place. A voice then says from the doorway, then you need my help. You are underpowered. You need muscle. And on the next page, it reveals it's Black Adam. Adam Smasher then replies while flexing, we've got plenty. Jay Garrick then speaks up saying, no Al, Black Adam has a role in all of this. Sandman then just looks down sad saying, I guess you're in Adam. With Adam replying, it's been thousands of years since we first met Flash. You impress me now as you did then. And with that, Black Adam became a member of the JSA. But you see, after Black Adam joined the team, Adam Smasher developed a a rivalry as he didn't believe he had been reformed. An instance of this is displayed when we see the two arm wrestling on the second page of JSA issue 26. Seeing the two arm wrestling, Stargirl says, Al, knock it off. You're gonna hurt yourself. He tells a relaxed star with Adam saying, the child is right, Adam Smasher. You may very well get injured. Smasher replies, there's no room for someone like you on this team, Adam. He replies, I have Wildcat, Flash, and Hawkman's approval. What else do I need? He tells them, mine. I've seen too many villains try to uh, reform. It never takes. You'll just turn on us in the end. Adam Adam tells him, I am not looking to reform myself, Adam Smasher. Black Adam was originally seen as a hero until Theo Adam seized control of this body and destroyed my reputation. I simply wish it back. We see Adam Smasher struggling to put Black Adam's arm down with Adam saying, this game, arm wrestling, when does it begin? With us getting a panel of Adam Smasher just staring at him like, what do you mean? You haven't been trying? Then two pages later, we see the table they were arm wrestling on has been destroyed with Adam Smasher holding his arm and Black Adam relaxing in a chair. Sandman walks in saying, what happened? Stargirl says, Black Adam won. Sandman then reprimands both of them, telling Adam Smasher, you want to waste your time and energy swapping words? Fine, but watch the physical activities. He then goes over to Black Adam, who says, Adam Smasher insisted on matching strength, with Sandman replying, I don't want to hear it, Adam, especially from someone who's had 3,000 years to mature. Remember, you're here on a probationary basis. Now both of you, clean this mess up. They continue to fight throughout the issue, with Black Adam even grabbing him by the throat at one point, saying, I grow tired of your empty threats. At which point a voice says, then here's a real one for you, Adam. Let go or deal with me. As we see, it's Captain Marvel. This leads us to issue 27, with Captain Marvel continuing to say, I heard that you were seeking salvation, Black Adam, that you were looking to prove to the world that you've changed your ways. I came to vouch for you, but a bit of advice, don't choke potential teammates. Black Adam then releases Adam Smasher saying, as ever, you possess the wisdom of Solomon, Captain Marvel. Theo Adam's temper shines through from time to time. It was an accident. I humbly apologize, Adam Smasher. And once Black Adam lets go, Adam Smasher says, me too, as he punches him out of the building. Now this leads to a fight between Captain Marvel slash Shazam and and Black Adam, with Adam Smasher caught in between at points. Now, Adam Smasher and Black Adam's rivalry would go on for a bit, but inevitably, Adam Smasher and Black Adam became friends. With the push of Black Adam, Adam Smasher would even grow frustrated with the JSA's moral code, especially when the villain Cobra blackmailed authorities into his release. So Black Adam and Adam Smasher quit the team together, only to hunt down Cobra, with Adam Smasher holding him still, Black Adam literally punched Cobra's heart out of his chest. That all went down in JSA issue 51 on the last three pages. It makes all the sense in the world that Adam Smasher will be in the Black Adam a movie, as the movie consists of the JSA and Adam Smasher is a prominent member of the modern JSA title by Jeff Johns, as well as him having a 
rivalry slash friendship with Black Adam. So I can't wait to see how they explore that in the movie, because I have a feeling it's going to be very similar, where they're not going to like each other at first, but then they're going to end up being friends. But that's who Adam Smasher is and how he relates to Black Adam in the comics. But let's finish this out quickly by going over Adam Smasher's powers and abilities. Due to inheriting some of his father's abilities, Albert has super strength, capable of being able to tear off the sides of armored ships and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with characters like Solomon Grundy. He is also incredibly resilient. You could chuck cars at the dude, and he's not going to be faced. His powers were later greatly increased after absorbing nuclear energy, which gave him a few more powers. Most prominently, the ability to increase his size, which also increases his strength. Al can grow up to 100 feet. Besides just getting really tall and strong, he could also increase or decrease his molecular density, meaning he could make himself incredibly solid, or he could face through objects. On top of that, he could alter his mass to make his blows hit with even more force. Yes, I know he's very similar to Ant-Man, but he has the added bonus of super strength and durability in his normal size. Altogether, he's a pretty formidable force. As for reading recommendations, check out his first appearance in All-Star Squadron issue 25, JSA Secret Files and Origins issue 1, where he becomes Atom Smasher, and the entirety of Jeff John's JSA run. That's definitely enough to get you all started. And that's going to bring today's episode to a close, but if you dug this video, check out this one right here, and if you like all of our videos, like, subscribe, and comment. It helps us out. But other than that, I'll see you all next time when I talk about all things comics.